Okay, I'm just going to run through a few basic tests with the newest Orbiter 2015 beta. And before I get started, let me do an update just to verify that I am in fact running the latest, so I'll do that. Um, okay, so it says there's a conflict. Doesn't actually tell me what that means. What I'm going to try is to simply let me rename that file. Then run the update again, see if that works. And yeah, it seems to have cleared that out, so I'm not actually sure what that conflict was, but I won't worry about it. Let me go into that directory now and execute Orbiter. I first want to try to execute the inline client. So let me do that. And it seems to be doing a basic, uh, some kind of basic test here. So all that looks good. So let me go ahead and launch Orbiter. Before I, okay, one of the tests I want to run is to disable the hardware flip, uh, page flip, because pre previously when I would run Orbiter, I had a problem where it would flicker really bad, but it seemed to only occur when I was recording. So before I enable that, let me see if that's still the case with this particular version. So I'm launching Orbiter now. And yeah, right away I can see a bit of flicker. Um, at least I saw one piece of flicker there. Let me see now. Although now it does not seem to be doing it, and I didn't did not turn on that page flip, so maybe I'll see it. I saw it there. It was very subtle, but I saw a little bit of a blip there. And once again, let me try to go to a, a different location just to see. Let's go to the moon. Okay, so yeah, I'm seeing that flicker. I assume that's being recorded. It's not as uh, it's not as prominent as it was before, but it's still there. So let me fast forward time to get the sunrise. I suppose I should have used the date editor since the moon turns slowly, but here comes the sun. It's back out of time warp. And let me zoom out because I seem to have, at least I've noticed, that sometimes when I zoom out, let me go forward a little bit more in time. Sometimes when I zoom out, I'll see that the er, uh, the moon, and there's the flicker again, there's the flicker. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely still there. But sometimes I'll notice the moon will just completely disappear. It's not doing it now. Well, that's kind of what I'm talking about. Right there, there's this texture chunk. And this was a default scenario. This isn't one that I rolled myself, but you'll see there's just this texture on the moon where it's like a pie slice missing and sometimes it'll disappear completely the entire moon will vanish and it may be other bodies as well I just notice it on the moon but you'll notice as I kind of pan around there there's like this pie slice of the moon that's just has odd rendering alright so let me back out of this and turn page flipping on, I guess, off. I'm not sure which way it goes. Okay, so that's under video. And disable hardware page flip. And I'm just going to relaunch Orbiter as it is without going back to the uh, default scenario. So there's still a pie slice there that's kind of strange. Now, one thing. Uh, and I'm actually primarily recording this video so Martin can see it. So one of the things I remember Martin mentioning in his update is that Phobos and Demos have been given a texture. I, I think, I don't know, now that I think about it though, I think he said you have to download something extra. So what I want to try though is I want to move one of my vessels to... I guess I don't have the scenario editor here, so I'm not going to be able to do that. So let me back out of Orbiter. I want to try to move a vessel over to Deimos or Phobos and see what it looks like. So let me go to the modules and enable the scenario editor. And we'll try this again, launch Orbiter. Okay, 
now control F4 scenario editor and let's just move this vessel to Demos. Hit apply, done. Close out. And alright, so okay, yeah, so now we have Demos in the default installation. And I'm also noticing that the page flipping seems to have resolved the flickering. Preliminarily, I will say that it's possible that upon further inspection that's not the case, but so far it seems to be good. Little bit of a glitchy graphic there, I guess you can see that. So I kinda, it's a little unfortunate that it happens to be on the shadow, so it's kind of hard to see it, but it's there for sure. Okay, let's take a look at what I could probably also do is control F1 and change the target to Phobos. That'll probably work. Zoom in on Phobos, have a look around. Huh, no texture, or rather uh, no mesh, just have the the ball. So I guess I won't really concern myself with what Phobos looks like. Let's try, let's see what some of the other bodies look like. Let's try Mercury, just work out from the sun. Looks pretty good. I wonder if we're gonna get like a really awesome Mercury texture here soon because of the new mission that's that's recently gone to Mercury. So as I pan the camera around, I'm, what I'm kind of looking for, I'm looking to see if the graphics on Mercury, or really any body that I'm looking at, if the graphic just suddenly glitches out, like, like it does on the moon sometimes, we'll just see large sections of the moon just vanish, or the moon itself will vanish entirely. I specifically notice it for the moon, mostly, because I prob probably just because I spend the most time there in terms of, you know, non-Earth bodies. But I'm not seeing that on Mercury. I'm, as I zoom in and zoom out, I'm not seeing any graphic tearing or anything like that. Okay, let's try Venus. Come around this way. Looks pretty good. A little angular. I guess that's probably just the... Uh, like there's a point where you go from here where it looks quite spherical, but if I go out one more level, now I have all these angles, but I believe that has to do with the... Um, I believe, I believe the, the mesh is, uh, you know, it's like 14 or level 14, but then as you zoom out, it switches to like level eight or something. So I believe that's why it kind of takes on that angular appearance as you're out a ways. But anyway, I'm not seeing any tearing or any problems there. Let's look at the moon again. Now it may be the case that it's the moon that I see it on mostly because of the higher texture or something, but like right there, right there you can see there's a, a triangular tear or glitch. I wonder if I, z yeah, okay, that's, that's better. Well, I was going to say if I zoom in my field of view a little bit, I might be able to see it, but as I hit a point, it goes away. There you can see it's quite, quite trashy looking at that angle. Okay, so well, whatever that is, that's hopefully something that can be looked at. All right, let's look at uh, Mars specifically. I have actually seen this kind of thing on Mars too, which kind of helps lend toward the idea that it might be texture related you know with the higher textures but I'm not seeing any issues right now looks okay and Phobos and Deimos are clearly there you can see that dot and that dot and that's good okay let's take a look at Jupiter boy that looks good <laughs> I mean, what an odd planet, but it's so pretty. I 
Let's look at the moons. Start with Io. You know what? I bet I must still have my higher textures for Jupiter because I'm noticing, yeah, you can see the volcanic. I forget the name of this, but I must have this loaded on here. And I'm also noticing that Jupiter looks a little bit better here than it does in the default installation. So yeah, I've got my Jupiter texture pack installed. So I don't know if that actually invalidates the idea of even looking at it to begin with. So let's skip Jupiter and go to Saturn. That's just a shadow. I mean, it, at that angle, it kind of looks like a graphical glitch, but I think that's just a odd-looking shadow on the... Hmm. Why is it that when I'm clicking Saturn and hit Apply... Oh, there it goes. That's weird. It w wasn't working before, but oh well. Okay, so Saturn looks pretty good, and nothing is obviously ripping apart as I zoom in and out. Let's try Enceladus. Nothing strange about that. Tethys. Seems fine. I'm wondering, did these moons get a texture upgrade since 2010? I mean, they just, some of these are looking a little bit better, I believe, and it could be my imagination, but. So these seem fine as far as, you know, I guess I guess the main issue is just something weird about the moon. Um, Uranus, Neptune. Lots of lines there, but I guess that's just a texture pack. Okay, so I'm going to assume the rest of those are okay, too. Let me just take a quick look at this one, because it's an odd... This is an odd little moon out there. It shouldn't really be spherical, I don't believe. I think it's more of a potato shape. Okay, so one more look at the moon. Yeah, something... Something there could be addressed, so... I guess the conclusion here for this is that uh, the turning the page flipping or checking that checkbox seems to resolve that flickering because I've been looking at Orbiter now for quite a while and I haven't seen any flicker. So that uh, takes care of that as far as the inline client goes. Now with the D3D9, I, I don't have to do anything like that. So that's pretty good. And then as far as the default bodies go, the only, the only one that really seems to have a odd still have odd tearing is the uh, is the moon based on one person's experiments anyway let me do this get inside pick a different vessel it's not a good one to be in and of course I don't have another one on the moon so let me do control F4 scenario edit and let's put put this on the moon. Something else that I like to look at, I notice things like this and I don't know how overly picky I'm being, but if you look at the like over here I could say that okay that that little bit of light that I'm seeing is just coming through between the rudder and the uh, side fin. I'm, my my 
vocabulary is elusive as as losing me at the moment so I, so I can't remember what these are called stabilizers or something but as I'm looking at this one I can say okay there's just a little bit of light coming through between the stabilizer and the rudder that's not a big deal but what is that <laughs> there I mean it, to me this looks like a graphical glitch it's minor and I'm probably nitpicky on stuff like that but of course now down here this is not being nitpicky that's something you know, obviously the landing gear shouldn't appear as the, if though half of it's missing I mean that's just weird looking I've seen this on the moon too let me put this vessel on the moon and like here's another angle like as I kind of move a little bit you can see this little bit of pixelated flickering on those edges and it's not a huge deal but it is distracting but definitely the landing gear and I think this is a terrain or altitude related where since Orbiter 2015 has you know that has the idea of different elevations there's just something about these vessels that have to be updated so that they know that the ground is actually you know a little bit further up or down or whatever but here we're missing a wheel entirely so that looks pretty strange but then as you zoom in and out you know sometimes I'll notice that entire portions of textures will will tear apart I, you know part of that I think it can't be avoided but one other thing when you're really close to the ground like this there's no sense of movement and I'll try to demonstrate what I mean on that if I go let me not go inside let me just apply a little bit of hover here wrong vessel apparently I forgot to switch vessels okay so now I'm yeah now I'm in this one so if I apply just a little bit of hover I want to get up off the pad I don't want to get very high up so engage auto hold now translation rotation it seems like gear up. I do, yeah. it seems to me like because the ground, the, the surface of the moon is so smooth, and I don't even mean that in a good way, I mean it, there's like, there's no particles, there's no dust, there's nothing that I can see, you know, micro textures or whatever. So this creates Translation. a problem, or at least an unsightly situation where if I move forward a little bit, once I get away from buildings and away from the landing pads, I have no sense of movement at all. Let me show you what I mean. Let me get past these landing pads. You can't really feel like you're moving, except for very subtle little changes in, you know, aliasing, which you know, that's not exactly how you want to reference your movement. Okay, but now I have no landing pads around me, and I really, I can't even tell I'm moving. You know, I would think that if I were really... You know, like uh, on Earth, obviously, you'd have grass below you and stone and rocks and all these things. And on the moon, you would still have, you know, lots of little micro uh, things to see. And it would give you this impression that you're moving forward. Here, I'm, I'm obviously moving. I mean, or rather, I'm, I'm not moving. But if I look at the cockpit view and bring up surface MFD for example you can see well obviously I'm moving forward you know at 20 meters a second but based strictly on looking around I, you would never know it because there's no there's no texture on the ground at all it's just it's too flat it's too smooth so that's something and I, and I don't know that that may be a massive undertaking to even to even attempt to create something like that but it's just something else worth noting if you do look outside I mean you can get a better idea that you're moving but I, I tend to feel like if I have to look outside for any reason then I then I'm quote-unquote cheating you know pilots fly from inside people drive cars from inside you don't you can't fly through the air and suddenly look outside and you like this 
Okay, so hopefully this little video gives, uh, gives something more to go on.